As you said, on the winner's side, so he does have that three uh, extra games he can play around with if he does so, or he can end it now to his decision, as has he plays. All right, let's go. A grand finals underway. Koizy on the loser side of things. However, Koizy's coming off that momentum. He previously just defeated the person that sent him to the loser's bracket before. All threats that he's identified have been removed from the playing field, and only hijinks remains in his way from taking the tournament here tonight. Hijinks, though, of course, on the winner's side has half the battle needed. Will he be able to finish the job? I mean... How how long until you get open to buy high uh, buy high jinx is upgraded? That's really the answer. Is there's so many options on the side of upgraded? It's just which counter are you going to go for? Oh, nice cap coming from Koizy, and I just gonna make a pretty pretty big comeback from this. Doesn't really have the bar to do it, as Koizy's gonna end it with a throw, throw him towards the corner. Oh, actually not gonna be quite enough. Ooh, that. Uh, final cartwheel kick though will do it here as Koizy is sending hijinks into the corner and Koizy is gonna hopefully be able to get the lockdown wow there we go big scream crushing blow Koizy is gonna obviously want to keep hijinks stuck here in this corner so he can keep the damage stacking up spends a bar of amplify to get the launcher there 42 percent for the opening salvo let's see what the follow-up is Make, make sure Hijinx is okay after that combo. That scream into the 426 damage might have just ended it all. His confidence might be pretty low until he, he leaps his way to victory. Ooh, he nice can. challenge on the cartwheel kick here. Hijinx just jumping all over the place, keeping the momentum and movement in his favor. It's going to be really hard for Koizu to be confident about when to take his turn if uh, Hijinx is kind of jumping all over the place and challenging. Oh, screaming in your face isn't really what you need if you're hijinx and the jump kick gonna end it all the head is begoneth And too much decapitation tonight is really uh, the theme. It really is the theme tonight Dude, I am all for the decapitation theme like I said earlier heads will roll and they are indeed rolling off shoulders tonight As Koizy is gonna secure another brutality and kick hijinx head clear off in game one, Hijinx though still on the winner's side. He can definitely look at this as a learning experience, download, perhaps lull Koizy into a false sense of security. And then when the chips are down, that's when you strike to deal the finishing blow. Hijinx though, of course, is going to need to enact that game plan at some point. Uh, we'll see if this game is where he starts to turn it up or if he's still looking to get some more information downloaded. Also, thank you for the follow, Compact Disc, Compact Disc 32. Glad you're enjoying the stream here tonight this nightmare series action as we head into our grand finals of the tournament here successfully got through the whole thing without getting ddos off the internet and my computer didn't throw up so today has been a good day beautiful please don't throw up now computer that'd be awful i just praise really you come on it now i mean i'm willing to tempt the karmaic gods i don't care fuck with me just gonna give the i can't curse myself can i i don't know All right, Koizy sitting on a healthy life lead, but Hijinx trying to open him up. The defense from Koizy a little bit too strong here, though. So that is going to be Koizy taking the throw and starting to push Hijinx toward that 50% health mark. Jackie also has less health than the rest of the cast, so needs to be careful. Yeah. Small limbs equals small health into small, small uh, death really needed until uh, Koizy. Really, just end of that round pretty swiftly, pretty easily. Not much really to be said. And here we go. Koizy gonna secure that opening round here. And really, Hijinx, nice. he is in a really, really bad situation now. Has no bar on either offense or defense. And Koizy, he's depleting his health with actually nothing. Okay, overhead. Good blocks, though. Hijinx's gonna get caught by the low instead here. And Koizy just continuing the assault. Escape failed as well. Oh, he already had it failed previously, though. And the Scream Crushing Blow will do it for game two. Hijinx is not really feeling that well currently. Those two games were not um in his favor really much. He couldn't really get anything started. Couldn't open up Koizy. I mean, the way we've seen him really try and play with Koizy before is by getting just opened up previously just by certain things upgraded does but Koizy his defense has been so so good currently that he's not even gotten a chance I mean loser's bracket Koizy is a rarity but 
man, does he toughen up when he gets put into that loser's bracket realm as the defense levels just seem to skyrocket a little bit here. And Koizy is going to be a real, real tough nut to crack. And we're going to see if Hijinx can find an opening. So far, Koizy is on the verge of resetting the bracket. And a bracket reset could spell disaster here. Hijinx is going to uh, be put on notice if we go back to a loser's for both of these. Hijinx is obviously going to want to run away with the game early on if he can. If he can close out these next three in a row, that's it for the tournament. Whereas Koizy still needs to win uh, another four games if he wants the tournament. So Hijinx still has some options here. This might just be the warm-up set, okay? He's been cold for a while. He's not been able to play a match. So this is just the warm-up set. That's what I'm calling now. Hijinx, prove me right, please. I mean, that's what I'm thinking as well, right? He he knows that he has a little bit of extra room. He's on the winner side of things, so he can use some of this to not really get stressed out about the fact that he's losing and just try to collect the data, collect the information he needs to apply a winning game plan after the reset has happened, which we are one step away from here as Koizy is on the verge of resetting our blacket with a quick and clean 3-0 to put himself and Hijinx in the loser's pool. Finally, Koizy gets opened up, getting a little small bit of damage. But how long can it last? How how long can you open up Koizy is really the answer. Hijinx trying to get in. I mean, that I guess that is the way to really contest forward, forward, three is her little uh, forward advancing uh, normal. Well, great contestant from Koizy, even switching the sides. No anti-air coming from Hijinx. Can you open him up? Really, the problem right now, Hijinx is not throwing Koizy at all. Like, Koizy is just fine with blocking forever, and nothing is happening, really. He's not throwing. There's really not... There's not a strike throw game if you're not throwing at all. It's just a strike. Your full-on strike game. <coughs> Ooh, not enough damage. One more hit. Hijinx needs to close out this round. <coughs> We went for the down one grease kick. Empty jump, and there it is, the grease kick. I like the idea of going for the grease kick there at the end because it's got multiple hits, so we can try to chip out with it, perhaps, or at least get through that last breath meter. We'll see if Hijinx can keep this momentum here, though he has answered back. He's on the brink of getting the bracket reset, but if he can get some confidence out of shutting that down, that could be a great boon for him as we move into game four, if we get a chance. Okay, here we go. Good for Hijinx. Forces I like what Hijinx is doing. He's starting to throw more, so he's trying to get Koizy open. I'm starting to shimmy him. Okay, little folks, Koizy just answering back, trying to put out some pokes of his own. Holy charge screen, look at that. Kaijing's just going to teabag his way, waiting for it to go off. He also probably knew there was no defensive meter, so Koizy wasn't going to be canceling that one. Oh, big air strap kill from Hijinx. This is going to be good damage here as he pushes Koizy into the corner, goes for the leap to follow it up, just keeping the pressure mounting. Oh, no. One more hit. He doesn't have much defensive bar left, but Fatal Blow is available. Koizy not out of it yet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That was what the fuck was timing. that? That was perfect timing. There is no other way, no other universe in hell that would have actually worked except that one millisecond that those two defense bars were spent for that breakaway. I can't believe that the fatal blow ended up whiffing there. Perhaps if Koizy would have done a single hit into it instead of two, or I, mean, I don't even know what he really needed to do, but Hijinx is going to be able to take game one or game three and stay alive here. The big thing though to note is that if Hijinx loses this next game, that game that he just stole, goes away. The Etch-A-Sketch is getting shook if Koizy is able to reset the bracket. So Hijinx needs to win the next two in a row if he wants to end the tournament. Otherwise, this is still going to, uh, you know, end up getting the scores reset and Hijinx is going to need another set of three to claim the tournament. Hijinx has tasted victory before and to do so over Koizy would be huge for him, but Koizy is not going to let it happen easily. Now he has to use his momentum. He caught some sort of hope, some sort of uh, momentum right there, and he just needs to keep it. He just needs to keep it going. Spend it all the time you need. I like how he was adjusting at the end, though. He was going for more staggers, going for more throws, mixing up his options. Really, at that point, he was just doing the same options over and over again, and Koizy's rooting right into it. Oh, Chap just got a sub from Hound Dog on the gift. That's going to up his curse game. He's got a nightmare smile next to him. That means that that curse he just cast in the chat is an uh oh. Ooh, snap splitter! Hijinx answers back! Thank oh, you so much, no. Hound Dog, for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. You had to pull up the snap splitter right after the Hound Dog call out. 
That Dude. was too perfect. That was too perfect. I'm telling you, this is a dangerous place to be uh, casting the curse. You guys see the logo of the Nightmare series. That's that's the Pokemon Tower. That's where all the, the Poke Ghosts are at. I mean, the, the curse is on new levels in these territories. You gotta watch your words. You gotta watch your words. The real curse is the old logo. Hey man, the old logo was not that bad. The new logo is so fucking sick though, I love it. All right, here we go. Hijinx took the first round here, trying to tie things up in the grand finals. Oh, there it is. Conversion coming out. Since he's using Split and Harris, it's going to be tons and tons of damage. He's using Arm Break also, just in case the breakaways come out. And Jackie's spending some of that defensive meter to keep the leaps going all over the place here instead. Nice jump kick there from Koizy to kind of contest the air to air. Oh no, he held the stream so, so long. They actually got a conversion, not even using the crushing blow. What was that? Oh, what? I can't believe the scream didn't knock him out of that, but hijinks with the combo drop. He still only needs one more hit. Nope, not gonna get it there. He would have been able to convert into Fatal Blow to kill, but the dropped combo and Koizy is not the kind of player to be making those tiny little errors with. So Koizy is going to tie the rounds up here. Final round in game four, and Koizy on the verge of resetting the bracket here in the Nightmare series. Man, that is a Perfect. weird sentence to say. Koizy has to reset the bracket. Does not happen often. Koizy is usually on the winner's side. Yeah, not today. Hijinx trying to make a different story happen. Ooh, no meter to get the screen to go tell. farther. Oh, unfortunate. Waiting for that crushing blow, of course, as always. Hey, yeah, you guys should be able to see the round score. It's slightly obscured, but it's it's there. Oh, nice dagger coming out. Escape failed also. Doesn't really need the escape failed as the life. Uh, regular throw would have done the uh, same exact damage if he needs it now. Again, just screaming at him. Sometimes the only answer Sindel needs is just a nice little scream. That's why she's named the Scream Queen. Pressure mounting. Hijinx is still on that fatal blow, but one stray hit from Koizy is all it will take. And Koizy is going to reset the grand finals here. That means Hijinx is going to collect his L as well. And that score is going to get Etch-a-Sketched back down to zero for both players here. And there is now one first to three remaining. If Koizy can win the next three games, it's over. Hijinx, if he can get to three before Koizy, the tournament will be his. Koizy is looking to add to the numerous victories he has in the Nightmare series. A multiple-time champ, of course, a champion in the finale as well. So arguably the biggest threat on the uh, the bracket right now and absolutely showing it. And of course, Hijinx has won a Nightmare Series event, but he would love to join the club of players that have more than one victory beneath their belt. The ability to guarantee and say, hey, it was no fluke. I won it multiple times. There's nothing you can say to counter my victory. So Hijinx is looking to secure that as well. And uh, I mean, this is pretty big for both players. I think it's also big for Koizy in that the amount of points he's going to get. Koizy waited till later in the season to play. And he's only going to be playing in this tournament and Tuesday's tournament for points. So, and the last tournament he was in, which he won. So if he can win all three, that's 750 points. Easy entry into the finale. So uh, I think that this is going to be big for Koizy to make sure that he can enter into the finale without really needing to go the long haul like some of these other players have just because he is too solid. When he had, the, he just did the scream crushing blow off the bat, but I was more focusing on how I honestly didn't notice he can see, like see the opponent's teeth so like so like obviously. Oh, don't look at the teeth! I, now I'm gonna look at the teeth. That's the worst. Terminator has human teeth. That is the scariest thing about it all. Look at Baraka sometimes. Well, I mean Barakas are obvious. I don't mind Baraka's teeth. They've been like that for over 20 years in my world. 1994 or whatever. I'll befriend. I mean, I want to befriend the Tarkadans if I ever saw them in real life. Tell you that. I'm not going against them. All right, here we go. Hijinx. Just going to sit there and duck. Cartwheel kick gets blocked. The throw can't block that. Koizy already took the first round after the reset, and he's looking to establish a lead here. Oh, Hijinx misses the flawless block, perhaps, on that. That is kind of the tech for uh, dealing with that string. Is It's safe on block, but if there is a flawless block gap, which adjusts that. The other thing, too, is in terms of Koizy, Koizy does not like to go for the low. He does typically go for the, the safe portion, so flawless blocking it is something that you can kind of reliably try to do. At least against Koizy. Some other players are oh, more and, wild. Tons and tons of saggers coming out. Oh no, Koizy, one more throw. 
Oh, the throw and there connect. it is. He tried for it. Oh, the uses the interactable. Back. The interactable is actually allowing moves to be cancelable and still not happening. There's a fatal blow available. <gasps> he didn't use the fatal oh, blow! No. Oh, now he's gonna use it. Oh, wow. Okay, he almost let that one slip away, but Koizy, maybe just having a little bit of fun, is going to secure game one. He's having a little bit of fun, but never play with their food as he's shown previously. No mercies here. We saw that there was mercies happening previously. Is Koizy going to mercy again? That could be a key indicator here, but uh, I think that Koizy came to play. He knows that securing a victory here is going to be a huge chunk of points for him. So I got a feeling that Koizy is going to be determined and focused on the task at hand, which is just to win. Doesn't need to embarrass hijinks a bunch, just needs the victory. I mean, a Mercy in Grand Finals is What's quite like the, the blow. Statement. That is the one, if if you beat your opponent afterwards, their confidence is at an all-time low. Like, they just don't know what to do anymore. Next turn when you play in, it's like, oh god, is he going to do it again? Is it going to happen once again? I'm going to get mercied, just embarrassed in front of everybody. Well, because it's got residual damage after, right? Like, not only mm -hmm. does it do that initial, oh, fuck, I got mercied. But then, like you said, they are then kind of concerned about it happening again. And there's all the memeing that will happen on the internet from people that saw, like... A Mercy in Grand Finals can be devastating. And we'll see if Koizy decides to go for the mental damage as well. He was not afraid to do it in top eight, although it did almost cost him. So we'll see if he dips into that bag again. Of course, he's also up against hijinks. This is Grand Finals. A lot is at stake. A Mercy is a bold move. What are they saying? I don't know what they said. Was it something important? It was nothing important. It was them just speaking random nonsense. You didn't need to hear it. Oh man, Hijinx I was not teabagging attention. out the gate as well. Hijinx is hungry here. I think Hijinx might be playing on tilt a little bit. We saw playing on tilt work out for Hijinx beforehand, but Koizy, I think, is a player that can really, really prey upon your frustrations. If you find yourself frustrated against Koizy and making perhaps uh, not well thought out moves to get in, Koizy is absolutely going to capitalize and punish you for that kind of behavior. So Hijinx is going to need to keep his calm and cool here if he's going to secure this victory. Big leap keeps it empty. The tactic I use against Koizy is befriend the beast. <gasps> I'll befriend Snap the spine! Oh no. No! Is he actually going to spend it? Yo, There's no massive way. damage here from Koizy. This is going to breach the 50% mark. No problem here. Give him the deep throat and the stomp between the eyes. The life lead still is to Hijinx. Oh, no. Avoided on that one. Got to be so careful. There's no screams either. And there it is. Hijinx's pressure or just the, able to go to hit a jump in from anywhere. And there was not enough defensive meter left on Koizy's side. So... That is a little unfortunate there for Koizy. He will lose the Fatal Blow in the process here. And that was such a huge amount of damage to have done. And unfortunately, didn't uh, get a big payoff in the form of a round win off of that. So that's tough. Another ground pound connection for Hijinx. As per usual, it's, it seems almost unblockable when you're playing against Hijinx. Nope, throw him in the corner. Koizy exactly where the position you need. And there oh, it is. Wow. The screen crushing blow. Barely catching her free. The teeth being exposed with the crushing blow once again. Cursed images. Man, I think that my reaction to crushing blows is to like look away. Like it's just like the way I do the head move of like looking away for a moment and I'm missing out on these teeth, man. I still have not been horrified by not it yet. I mean, it sounds like I'm picking the perfect opportunity to avert my gaze for just a moment. It's Fatal blow available here from Hijinx is going to get challenged in the air though. So Koizy will secure the round, making up for that uh, lost round earlier here. So those resources he spent still gets a round out of it this time. And we've got a final round underway. Koizy still sitting on a few resources. He did have to spend the Scream Crushing Blow in that previous round. So, uh, and you know, the Hair Whip Crushing Blow has been spent. Still has Uppercut available. Uh, what are other ones that you know of? The Booty? That doesn't come out very often. Yeah, it never really comes out. Ooh, there oh, there we go. Hijinx is going to get a good punish there. Forces the breakaway out. And there's the leap. Actually, leaps away. Cartwheel kick doesn't go far enough. And here's the throw from Koizy. Perfect. Bring him full screen. Now I'm going to spend some resources to get in. Instead, the dash punch opting to be used. One offense bar needed. Oh, sorry. One offense bar on uh, himself. So only can do one more uh, ensnare blast. Ooh, here we go. This is going to be the expenditure of it. And the crushing blow. 
course, oh, Boise had already deck. spent that Fatal Blow, so doesn't need to worry about the Fatal Blow doing anything. And this might be enough to kill, actually. The Grease Kicks finish the job, and Hijinx is on the board. Chap, the curse powers absolutely worked. It, they totally worked. You can thank Hound Dog for that one. It's now a 6-2 at minimum. The video has a new title. Ah. How do my batteries die? Where to plug the controller in? Alright, so this is game three of the grand finals. Post reset here. Both players have no lives remaining here. And whoever can get the first to three wins will be our Nightmare Series Tournament 6 champion. And there is but one tournament remaining for points after this, so Tuesday is going to be the final chance for points, and then next Saturday is the all-or-nothing LCQ, so the winner of Saturday's tournament, doesn't matter how many points you got, you will secure the seventh and final spot into the 650-plus prize pool that we have this season, and it's still not done growing as well. It absolutely could continue to get bolstered here. Uh-oh, controller, wake up. What are you doing? The betrayal. I caught you this time, though. It was on a loading screen. We're good. I think I, my cursed controller went for your controller, and they had a their brawl, and they both oh, uh, decided to connect. That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Collusion from the controllers. Can't trust anybody these days. All right, first hit will go to Koizu here. The throw to open things up. Again, just snake tent full screen. I mean, any at any time you just see a leak come through. At any time, a four four up three. I'm trying to string really. those punches, those staggers though. I mean, that, that string right there is not punishable, and she can go into the leap to kind of keep the pressure going. Here's the big screen crushing blow though from Koizy. Gonna stack up the damage, double screen combo as well. Was close enough to get it. And look at this damage he just got. Forty four percent for that. Hijinx tries to answer back. Not gonna get the full combo though. Spending resources that early sometimes is a big, big factor on just not wanting to do that against like a character like uh, Upgraded Jackie is where the comeback factor is huge. Alright, Jackie might need just one more hit to take this. Fatal Blow going to be available for both players here. Hijinx not out of it yet. We know that Jackie can get unbreakable big damage. Looks like Koizu's just going to have to sit there. Don't flinch. There we go. That's the cartwheel kick. Waited for the opportune moment to do it after Hijinx had leapt. And that will be Koizy claiming around one of game three. I think that uh, the response to Hijinx jumping out has often been Koizy going for the cartwheel kick. And I think that Hijinx needs to wait for it and whiff punish. That, that's what the game plan needs to be. But of course, if he waits for it and Koizy sees that coming, well, now he's just not in on her. So we'll see what happens here. Ooh, tries to swing with those kicks. Koizy's going to interrupt it, though. Okay, there's the leap to close the gap. Koizy tried to swing. Not going to get a connection. Again! Yep. Not Ending with the grease kick. Yeah, just barely not having enough damage. Down one to end it all. You're nothing. Now one more round is to be needed to add a tick on the board and be on match point for the whole entire set after the reset. Yeah, and this is going to take the lead for whichever player survives this onslaught will be in the lead here, and that's going to be quite the pressure to apply to your opponent, knowing that they have one loss remaining. Koizy off to a decent start. Escape gonna fail as well, so the scream crushing blows will be on deck here. Oh no, big whiff from the interactable, and that costs defensive meter, so there's no getting out of this damage. Koizy's gonna stack it high, 32%. Cartwheel kick to follow. Okay, there's a scream whiff. Oh, that's punishable. Oh no! What the fuck was that? That was a that. No. Whatever, it happened, a crushing blow happened also, fatal blows on deck. Hijinx, if you take this all, I don't know. You're oh, too tricky. much patience, too much patience from Koizy, oh no! I cannot believe that Hijinx just fucking got away with that. That was so much patience, I don't know if the damage is gonna be here, skulls and shields are gonna matter, the last kick through the, sh the shell, or the shield, not quite enough. Oh no, he oh, jumped right into it! The double oh no from Dream Eater. That's when you know the dumb shit has happened. Alright, so now does he get mercied? <laughs> How wild is this shit gonna get? No. Someone needs to clip that. Like, someone needs the double oh no. Like, there is nothing better than that. Ugh. My heart breaks. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I mean, oh, it was, he it almost was had it reaction. and then he got him with the same... 
obnoxious like now okay so this is huge for koizy koizy is now one game away the bounty is gonna go unclaimed here potentially koizy's gonna make it out alive with a target on his back i can't say i literally can't think right now i'm a loss of words like that whole entire just situation that last round my mouth just doesn't want to work it refuses to speak i don't that know how i'm making it do it ridiculous right now. That was absolutely ridiculous. Yo, thank you so much for the follow, Night King. Uh, oh, my. Well, we still got a match to play. We still have some games. One Dude, game. It's, it's, that's, or right, that's, it's not over yet. It's still not over. not over. Despite the wildness of that finish, we still have at least one more game remaining here. As Koizy now is on the brink of claiming yet another Nightmare Series victory and boxing Hijinx out of the multiple victory club. Hijinx though would love to uh, join that elite club of very few players that have got multiple victories in the Nightmare series, but uh, it's only like three or four players. And just toys these inside of Hijinx's head. He's just not blocking for his life. Every read is right from Koizy and Hijinx is gonna need a miracle. All right, there we go. Gets the leap in, trying to apply some pressure here. Fatal Blow is going to be available here for Hijinx as well. Going to knock Koizy out of the sky. Not going to get any follow-up, but man, as soon as you said that miracle thing, man, as soon as I say it, I'm just... Damn it, man, the curse powers. We are both too good at this. We should watch this one in silence. Let's just let fate decide naturally. <laughs> Yeah, can you play like some some magical just some peaceful meadow music with flowers in the background? Yeah, we need to establish tranquility here and let nature take its course instead of influencing yes. it with our bullshit. Koizy on set point here though. The low poke will finish it off and Koizy now is but one game away or one round away from claiming another tournament. Here we go. Hijinx trying to get the staggers going, the low pokes, the punches. It's constantly her turn. This ball hog, you have teammate. Oh wait, no you don't. One player fighting game. Get him, Hijinx, go! These are limited balls. Like, there's no turn that you can take against uh, upgraded Jackie, but Koizy's finding a way. Yeah, I mean, being a ball hog is great in a fighting game. If you don't give up your turn very easily, you force your opponent to make the risky choice of trying to steal your turn. And uh, oftentimes it can end up going sort of the wrong way. Koizy starting to lose a little bit of life. Fatal Blow is available though, and we've seen how effectively Koizy can apply that damage when available. Doesn't go for the big uppercut. Oh, the blocks though. That's going to be Hijinx tying it up. Stays alive here. And he is fighting for his tournament life right now. If he loses this next round, this 950 health that he's sitting on, he needs to keep it to the end. Otherwise, he is out. Second place, but, I mean, still out. Jackie sometimes just makes me angry at her throw animation. Like, half the time, you can't even punish her throw because of how far she goes back when it happens on with. It angers me. I'm sure Koizy is experiencing a little bit of that as well. Nice jump kick challenge here from Koizy. Hijinx now starting to fall behind in the life department here. Oh, as soon as I say that, though, he will get some damage. Takes the life lead away from Koizy. He's spending all of his resources right now. Well, that's a whiff. No punish. I don't think he could punish it, to be honest. Nice yeah. anti-air from Koizy. It's going to be big damage as well. There's no defensive bar to stop this. Koizy's going to cash it all it out. Off. Flight cancels. Fatal Blow is available, though. Next hit will take this. Oh, he's going for the shimmy. This is what Hijinx likes to do. In ah! situations like this, what is happening? Why didn't he push the buttons? LTR2, dude, just aim and shoot. Aim and shoot. Oh, it was all he needed. And no, Koizy. <laughs> Instead, going to keep his composure and defeat Hijinx in Grand Finals after the reset. No mercy this time. No second chances. And well, Koizy is our Nightmare Series champion. Yet again, Koizy has secured the victory. A target on his back was not enough to put him down. We did at least clip the wings there, so somebody claimed a little bit of the bounty, but Koizy is just too strong of an opponent here tonight. The Nightmare Series champion for a reason, though. Absolutely putting on a wonderful display with both Cetrion and Sindel here tonight. Koizy is our champion. That's another 250 points in his pocket, which is going to jump him up that leaderboard quite a bunch. And Koizy is looking to quite possibly secure himself a spot in the finale yet again to see if he can defend the crown. It is currently in Koizy hands, but there are going to be some absolute killers on the prowl in the finale trying to take that away from him. We'll find out who one of those players is directly from the LCQ, so that's going to be interesting as well. But with that being said, we're going to hop over to our final bracket one 